everybody, it's going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play. Today we are playing the Mystery Files of Detective Inaba. And oh my god, this music it just hooks you in right away, doesn't it? I can't wait to play this. I love detective games, I love solving mysteries. It's probably not going to be horror-esque, but who cares? I get to solve things. So we're going to try this. Okay, Suika Bar. Oh, and they got a little watermelon there. Clever. Okay, this game- Oh, it does contain horror! Oh, well then, we're gonna kill two two birds with one stone, and probably kill a lot more things too. Okay, so Nina Arimura. Okay, congratulations on another successful case today, Mr. Inaba, sir. Hmm. I found so many missing children or pets, I can easily do it in my sleep. This is hardly worth praising me for. Don't even start, Mr. Inaba. If I recall correctly, you were just about to jump ship until I happened to spot the kitty cat for you. You are not wrong about that. It wouldn't do us any good to tire out the mind of a great detective with such trifles. That's why all menial tasks fall to you, Arimura. So you say, but it's been a while since we've had a huge case fall into our laps. All I'm saying is that it wouldn't kill you to put in a bit more effort. There you go again, running off that big mouth of yours. If there only was some way to control this nasty habit. Owie, stop pulling my cheek! Hmm. Still, this rain is something else. No kidding. It started the moment we got onto the mountain path. Huh? Has the bus stopped? Apparently? Is that a question that I must solve for myself? Probably not. I apologize for the sudden stop. I ask that you all remain, uh, please remain in your seats and wait here patiently while I take care of this. What does that even mean? Are you gonna be murdered? Did something happen? This may prove to be fortuitous for us. Come, Arimura, let's check this out. Right behind you. You guys didn't listen to the whole, like, stay here thing, did you? Okay. So what do we got? Can I talk to you? I can't even... Hello? Could it have been an accident? Probably. Hello? Okay. If this bus to suddenly stop out of nowhere, I wonder if something's up. You look like a detective. Is everything all right? Never mind, you look tired out of your mind. Hello? Ah, oh, man, this isn't good. Is something wrong? My apologies, but it seems that we might have a slight delay. Somehow, it seems that we're trapped here by a landslide. That's... Wait, who was that that went up to the... I thought that was the bus driver for a second, but apparently not. All right, anyways, that's about the right of it. For now, we can't proceed any further. You can't be serious! You mean to tell me we're all doomed to die here? That's the logical conclusion, yes. Please, Arimura, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be fine. While we can't get to our destination with the road in the state, we can always head back to town if we need to. Uh, yeah, you're right. Not to mention that with this being the only road, it could take around a week to repair. A whole week? Sorry to intrude on your happy parade, but we're actually- we actually can't return back to town. What? Oh, that was you who ran. The landslide affected the road behind us as well. No way, that can't be. Dear me, our troubles keep on piling up. I imagine the heavy rain isn't increasing our prospects of a timely rescue much either. And I can only imagine how hard it might be to live inside a bus for an extended period of time. Oh no, oh no, no, no! My premonition was true! We're all gonna die here! Calm yourself. Don't be so absurd. Our objective now is quite simple. Let's seek out a shelter, or find a way out! We could zero escape this, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, y yes sir! I'll help search! Then I'll bring the rest of the passengers up to date. I'd appreciate that. You're just gonna shout the date at them? Alright, so what else do we got? Ooh, I like the stylish little little screen that we got here. A Zippo lighter. Sogo Inaba's favorite lighter. Why do you have a favorite lighter? So this way leads to the woods, huh? The rain is just as bad here. Nothing is making this any easier. It's the forest of drizzling rain. Oh God. All right, what's in here? What are we looking for? Dead body? No? Anything? Ghosts? Demons? Body parts? Okay, well, there's nothing here so far. We are going way into these woods, though, if you think about it. I mean, do we really want to go all this way? Hello, crow. Scared me a little bit, but that's okay. Bus driver? 
What, what are you doing over there? Hey, how'd you get over there? Wow, look at this huge mansion. Hmm, it doesn't look too worn down. It's likely someone still lives in here, don't you think? Then we don't have to die here. Clearly. Huh? Where's that typical witty re retort of yours, Mr. Inaba? Y you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? That's where you two went. Oh, could this be? You are correct. I think we found exactly what we were looking for. But good news. I'll go get the other passengers here at once. This is too convenient. Come on. Now then, hopefully there's someone living here. I hope so, too. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, so this is really going to be interesting. If this is a horror game, I'm going to be applying logic to everything. So this guy better not act out of character, or I will call him out. Odd, this mansion doesn't have a doorbell. And the front door isn't locked either. Might as well try entering, I guess. Wow, it's dark in here. Please pardon our intrusion. Due to unforeseen circumstances, we had no choice but... What are you doing? We are uninvited guests entering someone else's home. Isn't it simply polite manners to apologize in advance to clear up any misunderstandings? Being polite is one thing, but divulging your life story when there's no one to listen to is another. So, truly there's no one here. I guess all we can do for now is try to find the circuit breaker or something to get the lights back on. Don't you have anything that can give us some light in the meantime? In fact, I do. I have a lighter inside of my pocket. Okay, uh... Alright. Move, skips. Okay, I'm not gonna skip anything. You can use items in your inventory. Keys will automatically be used upon examining a door. Good work, Mr. Inaba. Now let's shed some light onto the situation. Uh-huh. Can I save? Okay, I can. Oh my god, they're chibis. Okay. All is forgiven. Mmm, I don't like this. An extremely valuable looking vase adorns the table. Okay. Whoa, 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 what was that? This is no time to be freaking out, Mr. Inaba. Let's just turn on the lights and figure out where that strange sound's coming from. Y yes, of course. Oh, uh, that's not looking too good, buddy. You don't need to be freaking out. The door's locked. Should we should we go downstairs or is that upstairs? We can examine the second floor once we finish. Okay. Door's locked. Yeah, that's where it came from. What what did that say? We need to find the circuit breaker first. Okay. Oh yay! Why can't I go in here? It's the toilet. This is truly the least of my concerns right now. I don't know, you probably peed yourself. I'm just saying. Not even a little bit. Doors locked. Doors locked. 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 Okay, is one of them gonna open on my way back? No? I already went in there. Where else can I go? Really? Okay, so it must be this radio, right? Yep. Let's go to- uh, Fine! Is this it? The circuit breaker? I have no idea which switch does what, so I'll just flip them all. Oh, and it seems my lighter just ran out of fluid. What perfect timing. Uh-huh. Hmm? Looks like a set of keys are hanging here. With this, the entire mansion is our proverbial oyster. Turn this radio off. All this time, it was just static coming from the radio. Maybe. But who on earth would turn it on? It's best not to waste one's brain power over such annoyances. Scared stupid, eh, Mr. Inaba? Ow, 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 not again! Let go my cheek! Oh, she's so cute. Okay. Uh, hello there, Mr. Bus Driver. I just brought the rest of the passengers. That's great! What the hell? You gotta be effing kidding me about all this! No reason to get worked up. Such is life. Indeed it is. An impassable road is, after all, an impassable road. I can't say I approve of the atmosphere here. It's a tad eerie. Is anyone else living here at present? Doesn't look like it, does it? Well, I have no qualms about using this mansion as our own personal lodging for the night. And if the owner does come back, all we have to do is explain our situation. He will surely understand. This sounds like a plan. In the meantime, I ask that you please wait patiently for help to arrive. I'll do everything in my power to ensure the promptest rescue possible. Guess we got no choice. 
Well, now, seeing as we'll be roommates for the foreseeable future, how about we introduce ourselves to each other? Okay? Oh! You guys are standing awkwardly. Oh god, they all moved. Okay, hello? What was this? What fell? The vase is broken. How did it break on its own? Who knows? It isn't likely that it shattered on its own from old age. You're not gonna dock my pay for this, right? Can't you be a gentleman and fit the bill? Be serious. Okay, so he seems like he's a scaredy cat, so that might actually work in our favor, especially for a game like this. Um, that reminds me of a Japanese drama show called Trick. I don't know if I've mentioned Trick before or not, or how hard it is to find Japanese dramas. But Trick is a mystery that's based on the supernatural, but not really like horror, more like psychics and things like that. And there's this professor who says that everything is fake. The supernatural doesn't exist, but it terrifies him. So he ends up hiring on this like magician who can see the tricks behind what these people are doing to create these superpowers and supernatural abilities that they have. Like, I don't know. I can't remember any of them. Um, like, like seeing the future or uh, teleportation, things like that. Things that seem to be like cult leadings. Um, but anyways, it's really interesting. And it reminds me of a character like that who's terrified on the on the inside, but tries to keep it cool on the outside. All right. I'm Kenji Nakaya, a carpenter. Uh, it's nice to meet you. We done here? Get the hell out of my face. S sorry. Would you quit stuttering and just spit it out already? Please, let go. Oh, her cheek. I'm Seiya Harima. I'm a doctor, more or less. I hope that today finds you both well. Well, a doctor? Then I look forward to you treating my injuries to your cheek. Why, yes, of course. How about we all save ourselves some grief later and just start wrapping your head with bandages this instant? Let's start with her mouth. Shut up, Mr. Inaba. All right. Hey, uh, my name's Tola Naga, Naga, Nakagishi. Okay. By the way, I work as a chef. Uh, great to meet you. Well, it's great to meet you, too. That's the spirit. Let's pull through this together. What a lovely, er, lively fellow. What a lovely fellow. Okay, and then you. The name is Shigetaka Komatsu. I'm a novelist. No way. The Shigetaka Komatsu? What? You know this guy? What well, crime fiction loving reader doesn't know him? Honestly, I'm not that big of a deal. Hmm, I see. Mr. Inaba, you always seem so well read. You really haven't heard of him before? I never bother with reading murder mystery novels because I know the criminal's true identity a hundred pages before the flatfoot does. <laughs> that face. I'm the bus driver, Kotaro Akashi. I sincerely apologize for all the trouble that has happened so far. It certainly wasn't your fault, Mr. Bus Driver. He has a name. He just told you. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. Please don't hesitate to ask anything of me. Okay. I think we got everyone. Well, not quite. We still don't know anything about the both of you. Uh, you're right. It totally slipped my mind. My name is Nina Arimura. I'm Sogo Inaba, a detective. Seriously? Man, we got ourselves a private eye here. Well. And I'm his assistant. If something has you stumped, please drop on by to Inaba Detective Bureau. Are you spreading propaganda? <laughs> Maybe I will pay a visit one day. Now that everyone's met each other, we should spend some time exploring the mansion. We also need to get everyone situated in their own rooms for the night. In that case, you may need these keys, Mr. Akashi. Okay, so we gave him the keys. I'll be sure to look over, uh, look after these. I'll go ahead and unlock any doors I've come across in advance. That'd be great. I think I'll take a little look around. As will I. Come, Arimura. Let's be off. Right behind you. Okay. Taking a look around, yeah? Sounds like a serious pain in the butt for me. Okay, what do you have to say? Aren't you supposed to be- Alright, fine. Aren't you supposed to be writing a book? Huh? What about that? Who's playing that piano? Just curious. Waste bucket's completely empty. Okay. Books alphabetically listed on the shelf. Well, that's very proper and neat. Painting of some flowers. Okay, I don't think I'm going to find anything, but just in case... We have to look at everything. We are detectives. We were sent here to detect what we could find, right? Isn't that what our job is? Detect. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go, I guess wherever. So they're mostly empty, there isn't anything useful in them. Okay. Gloves whose color is dulled. Crate sealed shut. Okay, boxes. All right. I like the music. Uh, Mr. Inaba, Miss Ar Arimura. Hmm? Yes. 
Mr. Akashi, did you find something? Yeah, Abuna found the guest rooms, so I took the liberty of assigning everyone their own quarters. Mr. Inaba, your room is in the second door, for, uh, second door from the left in the east hall, past the entranceway. And Miss Arimura, your room is to the left of his. Now we have our own individual rooms, Mr. Inaba. I bet you're excited to hear that. Yes, my apologies for being such a poor roommate. To let you know, here in the west hall going from right to left, these rooms are going to be uh, belong to Mr. Harima, Mr. Komatsu, Mr. Nakagishi, and myself. And in the east hall past the entranceway, going from left to right, first rooms belong to Miss, Miss Arimura and Mr. Inaba, as you already know. And then past that, to Mr. Nakaya's room. Last room is vacant, okay? If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask. Got it. I'm gonna look in everyone's room before they're even allowed to be in here. Small chest. Okay, only hangers. I doubt I'm gonna find anything. All right, I guess maybe we should go to our rooms? Oh, you're just chilling? Oh, help comes soon. Did you call anybody? Do we know if there's phones here? Also, where is the owner of this place? Can I not go out or is that not what I need to do? Hello? I must confess, I'm a little frightened. I'll wait right here if you two don't mind. Sure, do whatever you want. Okay, so here's our room. Nothing. Alright. I really do like this, uh, this music. So, the decorative plant has been- so it's- it's alive, right? That means somebody kept it alive. Hmm. Okay, gotta lay the land at least when it comes to these places. So I guess we'll go ahead and explore the rest of the mansion next time. What do you guys think? You excited? You ready? I can't wait to solve some cases for things that we don't even know what's gonna happen yet. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.